everyone i'm just popping on this morning it's monday morning i've just pulled up to a shopping center near me and i've got a few things to take back and i thought i'd just bring you along with me to have a little shop i've got emmy with me as well so we'll see how long that lasts but the boys are at the grandma and granddad's today so it's just a day before the crazy holiday starts that i get sort of a day to myself with just emmy where it's not too hectic so it's raining and i thought rather than going somewhere and just getting wet walking around everywhere it's just easier to go to a shopping center where it's nice and warm and yeah so i'll take you along with me i'm gonna pop in now first stop i think will be primark Yeah. <laughs> Good morning everyone, sorry about the bad angle. It's Wednesday morning, I'm just on the way to play gym with the kids. It's five to nine. <laughs> Um, and we've got a slot at half past nine earlier the better so we're up and out this morning I'm going to meet my friend Beth <laughs> them two are listening to music and they keep screaming out some sort of ah in between yeah I'm going to meet Beth and her two little ones and we're just gonna have a little play date and then we'll probably head to McDonald's after and get some dinner go sit inside because it's so much easier with the kids and it drags the day on a little bit longer because the longer out the house the better yesterday we were supposed to go out because jamie was off and got ready to go and the boys were just being i don't even know what what word to to put it but it was chaotic it was horrendous they were screaming shouting everything i was asking them to do they wasn't doing it so I just had enough and I said, you know what, Stop turning we're not going. Down. So yeah, we didn't go and we had a day at home. Jamie went to Aldi and got some shopping, took the boys with him and then they played out in the garden, did some drawing and then watched a movie and we just filled the day with stuff at home because I just thought, as much as I want to get out of the house, by the time it was ready to go, I was stressed and Emmy was due a nap and we planned for her to nap in the car, hopefully on the way and then she was screaming so i was like right putting emmy down for a nap and we're not going i was far too stressed so we left it so today i was like i am 100 percent getting out of the house and i'm not staying in because it's hard hard work it can be hard like around emmy's nap because she doesn't nap at a certain time and she has one nap a day but when she's tired everything is just not worth it it's she's a nightmare so yeah I'm hoping that we can go here and it goes smoothly luckily they've got Mia and Louie to play with and Spencer and Mia are like really good friends they get on really well and Louie and Alvy as well they literally love football so they'll just be in the football bit the whole time most likely because they were last time <laughs> Where is something? Where is something? Here I am. 
Welcome back to my channel and a new video. It's been a few weeks. I have been filming content. I don't know whether to insert some clips into this video or just start afresh because it's been a bit all over the place. We're at the start of the Easter holidays, so it's a little bit crazy, as you can imagine, trying to find things to do every day to keep the kids entertained, having the motivation to do it. Like, yeah, it's... um. Friday today so we are day five into the holidays or if you want to count the weekend day seven and we've been doing little bits and bobs so today is actually going to be a day doing something that I want to do because I've done stuff for the kids and even though my what I want to do is going to a shopping centre and kids don't like that I'll get them a McDonald's or something so that they're happy. But I really need to go because I'm going out tomorrow night. It's my friend's 30th party. Really excited for it. And I need to get some lashes. And I might get my eyebrows tinted. So I got them tattooed. So this is them with nothing on, which is amazing. But my natural eyebrow hairs are blonde. So I feel like if I just have them tinted a little bit. So to be fair, I'm just thinking... I do have a eyebrow dyeing kit in my drawer that's literally just come to me now maybe i'll do that instead but you can like see the blonde hairs a little bit on top of the eyebrows so i'm thinking i might get them done my mum is coming with me i would not be taking three kids under six to a shopping center by myself in the school holidays absolutely not gonna happen <laughs> but yeah it's about half past nine at the moment Emmy's having a first nap. She was awake at around seven and I needed to nap before we go. Otherwise, game over. And the boys are just playing hide and seek downstairs. So I have just said to them, please just be good for half an hour whilst I come upstairs, get ready. And then we're going to go out later. So fingers crossed, it's been about 10 minutes now. I've just put my tan on the first layer, ready for tomorrow night. So I'm going to leave this on all day, wash it off tonight. And then depending on how it is, I might put another layer on in the morning. And at the moment, whilst I'm, whilst I'm on the subject, I'm using the effing tan. If you have not used this or tried this, where have you been? Are you under a rock? Because this is amazing. I love Molly May. She's my favourite influencer person. I look up to her. I think she's amazing. But this tan is better than yours, Molly May, I'm afraid. It literally is amazing. It goes on so nicely. You don't smell once it's in. Um, like now, it's on. Obviously, all tans do have a smell. So people that promote tans and say there's no fragrance. There is always a smell, but it doesn't stink. And when you wash it off, it's such a natural tan. But the best thing about it for me is when it comes to scrubbing it off, you can literally scrub it off and it comes off. Whereas I find with Molly Mays, it just doesn't come off and you end up with that bitty sort of look um tiger bread look whereas with this like you can literally just scrub it off and then reapply it and you don't have that in between like awfulness so yeah it's not an ad or anything like that i just literally love 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 this tan i use the medium to dark because i don't like to be like really really dark and i think the medium to dark just gives you more of a natural tan but it's it's deep enough so yeah the only thing is when i tan and i'm sat down i get sweaty under boob so i probably i usually do put a towel under my boob so that it's not sweating um but that wouldn't be a good look on the camera would it so yeah the plan is to get ready go to a shopping center and get the bits that i need and then tomorrow i've got my hair at half past nine I have asked her to take me all dark because, guys, I can't believe I'm saying this again because I've only just gone lighter again, but I just keep seeing videos and pictures of people with glossy brown hair and it just looks so much better. Like, I do like this. It's obviously not really light, but unless I like wash it every day or do something with it, it oh, I 
don't know because I'm looking at it now and I really like it I actually don't know we'll see tomorrow let's not talk too much on that but she did say to me she wouldn't take me dark brown because th that's where I went wrong last time I dyed my hair myself and it went too dark so it would be more of a medium brown and it'd be glossier and yeah obviously I've got my extensions in so she's going to colour them with it if I do decide to go with it but we'll see tomorrow anyway so yeah I've got that tomorrow and then I've got a few deliveries come in I've ordered some leopard print shoes I've got a Zara balloon skirt I don't know if you've seen like the black one that's coming tomorrow just deciding on a top I was going to wear a backless top from Her Poly, but I really struggle with the bra situation because if I don't wear a bra my boobs are not up there enough to not wear a bra and boob tape for me just doesn't stick just doesn't stay so I don't know where I'm going wrong with that but anyway yeah and then we'll be going out i'm not sure what time yet we might be meeting my friend carla and her partner for a drink before or they're going to come here before because we're going to share a taxi there but i'm really excited so yeah i'll just thought i'd take you along with the weekend for me i don't know if this is going to be in a day in the life today because i don't know if i get to film much tomorrow but i might do today tomorrow i probably won't film at the party because obviously it's my friend's party i want to be present in the moment but yeah let's See what today brings. makeup just going to go over my hair now with my shark i think this is better than the dyson personally i think it's more powerful the curls last longer and yeah i just think it's better i've used i had the dyson for like two years over two years and of course like it was older so then going from like an older to the, like a brand new again is going to seem better but i do find that my curls last a lot longer and I can like use this with dry hair and they'll last a lot longer. Whereas with the Dyson, if I used it on dry hair, they'd just drop back out again. But these curls are from, I washed my hair. It's Friday today. I washed my hair on Wednesday night, I think it was. And as I was drying it, I put it in rollers, left it in rollers for about 15 minutes, took them out, put my hair in a bubble, went to bed and woke up the next day and it's left me with a wave like since so the first morning I didn't have to go over it with the shark yesterday what did I do yesterday yesterday I just stayed at home because some friends came over and so I didn't put anything on it so today I'm just going to go over like the little bits um just to put a bit more body into it <laughs> This is it i've not brushed it yet obviously but i'm just gonna leave it because then it lasts longer but i like to curl them away from my face but then the ones at the front into my face so that it just i don't know it just for me it just looks nicer so yeah i need to decide what to wear i don't know whether to wear jeans or leggings and trainers i might put jeans on because i actually don't wear my jeans that much because when I'm with the kids I literally just shove <laughs> leggings on so let's have a look Glasses. 
Christmas. Who's that? Who's that? Yeah, I'm just playing this pizza game on my iPad. Your hair's gone a bit crazy, haven't you, Emmy? Yeah. <laughs> and that, guys, now I'll tell you where we've gone today. So we've gone to um, White Rose and we got ice cream at McDonald's. And then we came home and Nana stayed for a little bit and I did a magic show. Yeah. And, and then we just came home and then we and then I got into my jams. And then we had ravioli. Yeah, yeah, we put... Ravioli got, for tea. Yeah. And then, and I got my chalmers on to sit and rest, and then I played this game with Aldi. Yeah. That's what I did. It's 20 past five now, so just into that final stretch before bedtime. I'm going to my friend's house later, to Becca's house for some, for some food and just to chill and catch up. That means we'll see Daddy. Yeah, Daddy will be home to look after you. Yay! Because I love Daddy. Mummy, it's because I love him. And then I'm getting my hair done in the morning at half nine, as I mentioned earlier. But yeah, we've just been to the shopping centre. I got the bits that I needed. Managed to get some cute little bits. Oh, I got Emmy a strawberry little sweatshirt from Zara. It was in sale. And I got some white Zara wide leg joggers. And then I got some lashes because I needed some lashes. And then I got this like cream denim bandeau top with buttons down the front from H&M. And then we went to KFC for dinner. And then on the way home, we went to the McDonald's drive through and got them an ice cream. Because I promised I'd get them an ice cream. So it was just easier. Uh -huh. <laughs> Again. And two. Have a kiss. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's Saturday morning now. I'm just popping on before I go and get ready to go for my hair appointment. Um, it's half past eight. I'm setting off around nine. And yeah, I'm feeling a bit groggy this morning. I've got a bit of a cold is absolutely fantastic not what i want but the sun is shining today look how nice it is out there so yeah i'm gonna go get my hair done i'm still undecided whether to go darker or lighter or stay the same i just can't decide whatsoever but i'm sure you'll see in a few hours anyway so i will catch up with you then This is a really random clip that I'm adding, but I didn't get a chance to do that after of my hair. So I thought I'd just pop it in here and show you that I literally stayed dark. I just had my roots done and then I had like a sort of brondy, browny colour on all my light bits just so it blends in a bit nicer, but I'm not completely dark. So yeah, I was really, really happy with it because I just feel like it's a happy medium, like it's not dark dark but it's not light light and it's not something i'm going to get bored of hopefully um that little light bit you can see there is actually from my foundation looks like it's just blonde but it's not but yeah and yes if you're wondering i do basically live in these pajamas i love them so much i wear them like three times i wash them and i put them back on again they're the primark ones and the material's like really soft and i love them i actually Wish they did them in more colours. I don't think they do, but I thought I'd just show you my hair because it's a bit random, like take you to get my hair done and then not showing you the after. So this is it.
Thursday afternoon. Oh my goodness. I wish I could say I'd just woke up, but I've been up for about five hours and we just come upstairs to get ready because we're going out and I've had to sit down because I just feel a bit rough, tired. I've literally had four I've literally had four hours sleep. Obviously the clocks went forward so we lost an hour. And yeah, it was a really good night though. I didn't obviously insert any clips, but it was my friend's 30th birthday and it was really, really good. Drank lots of wine, did lots of dancing, had lots of tequila rose. <laughs> and now I'm feeling it. But today it's Easter Sunday and we're going out. We're meeting my mum and my stepdad and then my sister and her husband and nieces. And we're all just going to go for some food. So... At least I'll be getting food and it's literally only 10 minutes from my house. So if I start to feel tired or whatever, I'm just going to come home. But tonight is definitely going to be an early night. Wow. I am absolutely getting worse as the minutes go on. I don't know how I'm going to get ready. I will not have been aware. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm just really tired. But yeah. I will take you along with me and show you where we go before finishing the vlog because obviously this has just been a couple of days and I don't know how much footage I've actually got in the last few days but I will do that. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I'm literally exhausted. <laughs> I just want to go to sleep. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to get ready now. I'll attempt to get rid of it. Hello everybody and what and there's a new place at home Fairfoot and where we eat uh, and yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's not gonna take a long time. We're no. going there now, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Managed to get myself dressed, feeling a lot better, really, really hungry now, so and... we're gonna go and get some food. It's literally about ten minutes from here, so we'll see you there. Yeah, bye! been doing a little bit of tidying and cleaning it's bank holiday monday today jamie's at work emmy's napping the kids are downstairs I'm trying to get some sort of cleaning and reset done before another week of the school holidays so yeah it's actually been a really nice weekend i think i'm just about of my hangover from yesterday i just feel really tired like emmy is honestly her sleep is hit and miss like she'll sleep through one night the next she might wake up once two three times and i'm just a bit stuck of what to do like yeah it's it's hard work like with the boys i literally had no issues with their sleep ever but they never suffered with things like teething whereas emmy really really suffers with teething i don't know if it's a girl thing but then like some of my friends have got boys and their boys have suffered. I, d I don't really know, but it's just a shock to the system because I've just always had kids that sleep through. And maybe I was a bit naive when I had Emmy thinking if I did the same routine, it would be the same outcome. But it's proved me wrong. Like, don't get me wrong. She sleeps really well. Like, she settles well. She always goes to bed okay. 
and when she does wake up I feel like it is for a reason I don't think she's just doing it so I think because it's not consistent all the time she goes through stages but quite long stages i think it must be to do with her teeth or i did actually think she could be having night terrors because for a few nights last week when i was going into her room she was literally just screaming screaming and looking into space and not knowing i was there and then all of a sudden something would click and she'd just be okay so yeah i'm just trying different things making sure she's full up before bed trying porridge before bed Someone suggested going back onto some toddler milk instead of the whole milk that I'm giving her because it would be more of like, it would fill her up more. But I did try that like last month and it didn't make a difference. So I don't know if to just try it again and see. I'm not really sure. But yeah, it's hard because when it's like the holidays like now and it's two weeks of all three kids 24-7 and if a night goes and I haven't slept and then Jamie's at work all day like it's all on me and of course like they're my kids and it's not going to be like this forever but it can just be a bit like Groundhog Day like I wake up and I'm like what's going to be today or what should we do today and like today I did plan on just having like a chilled day at home because we've had a busy weekend but then it is hard to try and find things to do so that the kids are entertained but the weather is literally shocking like it's peeing it down so i can't even pop to the park or anything so i'm just gonna have to try and make some sort of fun for them i might make them a den because they do love a den might i was gonna bake some mini egg brownies but i don't have any oh no i do have some eggs actually i might look into doing a bit of baking then because i'm gonna end this vlog here just so that i can focus on getting my house sorted and spending the day with them and sometimes when I'm trying to vlog whilst doing that it just gets in the way of it and then yeah I just want to have a day with them and hopefully we can pass the day without any drama but yeah I'm gonna go get some dinner now it's like quarter to 12 hopefully I can eat that in peace before Emmy wakes up I think this has been one of my shorter vlogs because it's been a bit all over the place. I've just picked up the camera as and when I've remembered. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and go uh, go over to my TikTok and my Instagram, which I put on the screen now, and follow them because that's where all my outfit videos are and hairstyling videos, a bit of a mix. And I do post different videos on TikTok and Instagram, so it's definitely worth following both. But thank you so much for watching as usual and I'll catch up with you in the next one. Bye.